subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. From the atmosphere of a newly discovered planet to evidence of a new layer in the Earth's inner core. On this edition of Scientifics, I, Mohana Basu, bring you a roundup of the top science stories of the week from across the globe. This week, for the first time, scientists have discovered a rocky Earth-like exoplanet with a partially preserved atmosphere, giving researchers a chance to glimpse into an atmosphere of a planet outside our solar system. While a wide variety of exoplanets made of rock, ice and gas have been discovered in the last couple of decades, Studying the atmospheres of the rocky planets is extremely difficult with currently available instruments. For that reason, the atmospheric models of rocky planets remain untested. Researchers have now discovered a hot super-Earth in orbit around a nearby red dwarf star, Gliese 486, only 26 light years away from the Sun. The planet named Gliese 486b has a mass 2.8 times that of the Earth and is only 30% bigger. It orbits its host star on a circular path every 1.5 days at a distance of 2.5 million kilometers. In spite of being so near to its star, the planet has probably conserved part of its original atmosphere so that it is a good candidate to observe in more detail with the next generation of space and ground telescopes. Gliese 486b takes the same length of time to spin on its axis as to orbit its host star so that it always has the same side facing the star. Although Gliese 486 is much fainter and cooler than the Sun, the radiation is so intense that the surface of the planet heats up to at least some 430 degrees Celsius. Because of this, the surface of Gliese 486 is probably more like the surface of Venus than that of the Earth with a hot dry landscape with burning rivers of lava. However, unlike Venus, Gliese 486b may have a thin atmosphere. In other news from space, researchers have for the first time found water and organic matter on the surface of an asteroid sample returned from the inner solar system. This marks the first time that organic materials, which could have provided chemical precursors for the origin of life on Earth, have been found on an asteroid. During the Japanese space agency JAXA's first Hayabusa mission in 2010, a few grains of sample was returned to Earth from the asteroid Itokawa. Now, one grain of that sample shows that water and organic matter that originate from the asteroid itself have evolved chemically through time. The team suggests that Itokawa has been constantly evolving over billions of years by incorporating water and organic materials from foreign extraterrestrial material just like the Earth. In the past, the asteroid will have gone through extreme heating, dehydration and shattering. However, despite this, the asteroid came back together from the shattered fragments and rehydrated itself with water that was delivered via dust or carbon-rich meteoroids. The single grain from the asteroid, nicknamed Amazon, has preserved both unheated and processed organic matter within 10 microns of distance. The organic matter that has been heated indicates that the asteroid had been heated to over 600 degrees Celsius in the past. The presence of unheated organic matter very close to it means that primitive organics arrived on the surface of Itokawa after the asteroid had cooled down. Traditionally, we have been taught the Earth has four main layers, the crust, the mantle, the outer core and the inner core. But this week, scientists have revealed that the Earth has an extra layer, the innermost inner core. Researchers from the Australian National University say that while this new layer is difficult to observe, its distinct properties may point to an unknown dramatic event in the Earth's history. The team found evidence that may indicate a change in the structure of iron which suggests two separate cooling events in Earth's history. Investigating the structure of the inner core can help us understand more about the Earth's history and evolution. The idea that this innermost inner layer exists was proposed a couple of decades ago, but the data has been very unclear until now. Meanwhile, a team of scientists 
at Virginia Tech have discovered a new species of millipedes called Nanaria hoki. Now, usually when a new species is discovered, we think of scientists trudging through deep caves, uncharted rainforests, or hidden oases in the desert. But what is interesting about the discovery of Nanaria hoki was that it was discovered right in the campus of Virginia Tech in the US. Nanaria hoki is about 2 cm long. It is a dark reddish millipede with yellow-white highlights. They have twisted claws on their feet before their reproductive organs. Millipedes have existed far longer than humans have and represent some of the first land animals discovered by scientists in fossil records. They are crucial to forest ecosystems as they break down decaying plant matter into smaller material so that bacteria and other smaller organisms can continue to recycle the material into the soil and make its nutrients available for future generations of life. Also this week, a priceless fossil made headlines after scientists in the UK revealed that it had been transported across South Africa and briefly brought to the UK Research Centre in complete secrecy two years ago. This was done just so that an advanced X-ray study could be carried out on a 3.67 million year old skull of little foot, an individual of an ancient human ancestor. Scientists were able to see some microscopic details in the ancient remains that could help unravel key clues to the origin of modern humans. The scanning focused upon the upper part of the little foot's brain case as well as her lower jaw. The researchers gained insight not only into the biology of the little foot species but also into the hardships that this individual, an adult female, encountered during her life. The researchers spotted defects in the tooth enamel indicative of two childhood bouts of psychological stress such as disease or malnutrition. The individual got the nickname Little Foot because of a small foot bones that were among the first elements of the skeleton to be found. This is Mohana Basu for The Print. If you like our videos, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.